So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you the latest rune farm that has been found that circulate in the internet today we're getting to it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now before we push on guys, today's video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. If you guys do not have Elden Ring or are looking for other gaming titles at a discounted price, look no further than instantgaming.com. Instant Gaming offers you all of the best gaming titles on every platform at a reduced cost. It's as simple as searching for your desired game choice, selecting the platform and hitting that buy button. You are then given that digital code to use on your platform. But wait, it gets better. Check out Instant Gaming via my link to be entered automatically into winning the game of your choice. It's that simple. Again, check out Instant Gaming via the link pinned at the top of the comments section and also at the top of the video description for all your gaming needs and gaming giveaways. Okay, so this takes place within the deep root depths area. No, it ain't the best in the game. No, it isn't better than uh, the farming spots within the Mogwin Dynasty area. Yes, there are better spots in the game also. Uh, I'll link a few of them in the video description if you do want to check them out. But this is yet another green farming spot we can throw yourself off the map after you parkour for about 30 to 40 seconds maybe actually more than that probably a minute um it isn't the easiest but it's far from the hardest uh, so if you did mess up in trying to get down to uh, the mogwin dynasty area if you messed up the white face value quest line uh, you can still do this farm i guess but like i said the definitely spots better in the game but i'll showcase this to you guys either way now this isn't our new game plus so keep that in mind new game plus you'll get more but hey that's just the the feel okay so we are at this um uh grace point right here the deep root depths right next to the uh finger reader crown which is right there you see where i'm at this massive uh waterfall you have to actually scour up here then run along one of these branches and throw yourself off I'm going to try I didn't do this first time. I'm probably going to fail, but hey, adds to the fun. So I jump on your horse from the grace point, and this is where you need to come to. So we need to come up this branch right here, or root. Come up here. I mean, this is up, this is fiddly from bottom to top. Then we have to jump across to that branch right there. So, just like so. Then here, jump across to there, or jump over that, and jump across onto this one. Come up a bit further, guys, just like so. Come up again, just like so. Turn back around and then jump over this route right here. Then we have to jump across to that one. Now, I ain't holding sprint by the way, this is just me just double jumping. No sprinting involved at the minute, I'll tell you when I do that. Now, you want to hold sprint and come up here. I can see that like, little hoop there. We want to go through that. So, I'll go underneath this, just like so. So, on this side of it, again now, hold sprint and we're trying to run up this, <laughs> this like massive route here so let's hold sprint keep spamming that jump keep spamming keep spamming keep spamming there we go we're at the top simple as that it's probably the hardest part now you're going to jump across onto here using your sprint and double jump and you can see it's like three fingers let's say three fingers we want to go down the middle one just like so like you see i was just up here not long ago and i fell off <laughs> but hey here it is what it is so you want to come down here guys just like so and then what you want to do is from here you want to sprint run forward run up that branch double jump and just swing away your weapon light attacks guys simple as that so just run double jump there we go just like that guys and you will get those runes it really is that simple what you will notice also guys is that I get numerous ticks of uh, actual runes being applied to my overall tally. Uh, so yes, now you also see as well I'll get a smithing stone and a Newman's rune. These are rewarded for the first time you do this uh, and thereafter you will not get those. But the actual ticks of runes and they, well about 7 or 8, probably a few more you will keep getting so yes uh, i won't speed this up so you can see exactly how long this takes um it's not too long it's 
quite easy. I mean, the scaling can be a bit of a pain in the ass. As you can see, I get around 85,000 in total. So, yeah, this, again, is not a new game plus. If it was, expect it to double, triple, quadruple. Uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind also, guys. But, hey, it's not the best in the game, but it's far from the worst in regards to runes you can earn. But there we have it, guys. Uh, once you get your runes, go back to the grace point, and you are good to go. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of me, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my be YouTube for people. I will see you on that next one.